Hi again everyone, I'm going to do another review and this time it's of a film called Entrails of a Virgin. Um, I'll get the director's name right here, if I pronounce this correctly, sorry if I don't, it's uh, Kazuo Kamuzo and this DVD is put out by Synapse Films, as you can see there. Uh, Synapse have got a lot of different um, titles in their Asian cult cinema collection, see across the top there. Um, this one here is, is a Japanese pink film. If you're not familiar with pink films, it's basically in the through from the 60s all the way through to the 90s. Um, Japan produced different softcore porn films, mixed them up with violence and kind of re revenge stories and things like that. Um, there's a lot of different films made um, under this type of genre, but this one here is one of the only ones that I've actually seen. Um, like I said, it's called The Entrails of a Virgin, so you can expect what to um, happen in this film. It's basically, the, the plot's similar to Evil Dead. Um, a bunch of young people um, who I presume are making either a porn film or just shooting um, erotic photos and things like that um, go out to the woods. Uh, they get stranded. They find a house. They go into the house and they start having sex with each other, things like that. And for some reason, a mud monster, a guy covered in mud, um, comes into the house and starts killing off everyone and playing sexual games with all the women before he kills them. Um, it's very gory towards the end. Not much gore in the beginning, but there's a lot of um, sex, um, a lot of you know, kind of funny dialogue, things like that to keep you amused all the way up until the end. And there's a few good gory set pieces in it as well. Um, this DVD is really, really good. Um, the film itself is not that long, it's about 70 minutes, which is usual for um, Japanese pink films. Um, as you can see, there, there's the the mud monster, I don't know if you can make that out. But um, Synapse have done a really, really good job here. It's pre presented in anamorphic widescreen. Uh, it's the fully uncut, and it's the uh, Japanese language version as well. There's um, You can remove the subtitles as well if you want, you don't have to have them there as well. Um, there's a really, really, really funny interview with the director. Uh, I think his nickname is Garia or Garia. I can't. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, he basically explains how he made the film. At first, he can't even remember making it. Um, then he goes on a rant about, uh, you know, kind of commercial films and uh, Hollywood movies and things like that. It's really funny. Um, his kind of insight into life in general, basically. Insight here got the DVD and there's a really good booklet here. Uh, it's quite short but short and sweet and this takes you through the, the history of fogging and visual censorship in Japan and if you're not familiar with it basically um, the laws that governed Japanese censorship at that time when they were making these films stated that you couldn't show pubic hair or genitals in the films so um, there's nothing wrong with the DVD if you watch it but whenever you think there's going to be a scene where there's some pubic hair or genitals, it's fogged out on the screen. It's nothing that Synapse Films could have done to take that out. That's actually uh, the way that the films were produced at the time. So um, if you're thinking you're going to see a lot of nudity and things like that, you see a lot of uh, top body nudity, but no lower body nudity. Um, but there's a lot of gore and things like that. So it's funny. Um, I don't think it's meant to be taken too seriously. Um, and it's a it's a good entry to the Japanese pink film. Um, I hope you like it. It's uh, not for everyone, obviously. It's uh, slightly offensive in some parts, um, but it's well worth getting if you're collecting kind of Asian cult cinema and things like that. Okay, take care.